Yeah, hello, this is Jules Chow. This is uh, World of Warplanes, and uh, I'm a newbie at this game. About, uh, not quite two months. So I'm just going ahead and jump into a Saudi. Uh, I'm flying a Spitfire, which is a uh, tier 5 fighter. They are 10 tiers all together, so I'm the middle. It is uh, two teams against each other, 12 planes on each team. Somehow not too many people are playing this game now online, so half the time, half your team are robot airplanes controlled by the AI. We call those bobs. Okay, so usually the wait is about one minute or so. Hopefully, don't have to wait too long. So, yeah, the fighter is a, um, the Spitfire is a fighter, that means uh, you do dog fights and so on. The other planes in this game are bombers, heavy fighters, attack planes, and multi role planes, which is a hybrid of uh, fighter and bombers. I f myself find the fighters more interesting. They go faster, so. But then again, the fighters have a weaker plane body, so easier to catch fire or get destroyed. Good thing in this game is that you could uh, restart during the game. You call that respawn. So, okay. Hopefully, it's not nighttime. Nighttime flying is very, very difficult. The other odd part about this game is that you can either use a joystick or the mouse and keyboard. I myself find the joystick impossible to aim, so stuff with the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> but once you get used to it, you know, once you have more fingers, but once you get used to it, it's not too, too bad. So this is a desert game, daytime, pretty okay. You can see the people on your team, usually the single names, the single word names are robots towards the bottom. So, anyway, so, uh... Show me what you can do, pilots. Let's roll. The key t to this game is sort of stay with your team. So, never single out, if not you'll be a sitting duck. Just pick something and shoot it up. Okay, a whole bunch of these guys. This guy's fast. The big planes are actually pretty tough to shoot at. To bring down because uh, they're more massive. The smaller ones, they are more nimble, but uh, if you have a uh, good aim and stuff, it should be okay. In this game, find out that uh, speed and height, good uh, altitude is also key. You know, it's not good to be at the bottom. Again, you'd be a sitting duck. So, the orange ones are your enemies. The white ones are neutral until they uh, change size once the team control the sector. So this guy is so, so high up. Uh, come on, okay. There you go. Okay, now we'll do a quick turn around. Come on, what happened here? Gee, what is going on? See, I told you big brains are tough to rain down. Come on, come on, grow up, grow up, grow up. Slow down before crashing the him. Yo, get over here also. This is impossible. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, get this guy. Okay, where's the other guy? 
shoot this guy. No, he's out of range. Just two guys after him. Come on. Closer, closer, closer. About 2,000 feet. So over here, my engine will overheat also. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, this guy's after me. Okay, where did he go? God darn it. Right down below, right down below. Slow down. 4,000 before. Slow down, slow down. Too fast. Shit, I got him. Huh? I got him? Maybe I crashed into him. Oh, a funny looking airplane. Somebody got him. Okay. I can't scare this guy. Oh, come on. Oh, who's behind me? Can't find it. Oh, shoot. This one, the man, someone behind your tail sneak up, then I said, damn meat. Good thing you can reborn, respawn. Three, two, one second, here we go. Okay. Go to the red sector. That means it could be in control by your enemy. How come I'm the only one? Oh, Jesus. Let's just pick this guy here. Bomb it this Crash. Okay, where did he go? Here we go. Two guys. Who's on my tail again? God darn it, this guy. Come on, this one. Ah, oh, gee, I'm not fast enough. God, Jesus. Let me sneak come on here. I'm not killing you. Yeah, I was going to say that for this game, you have to lead your guns so you cannot aim directly. They'll be forward. I know it's too far. Come on. Don't crash into me. Okay, there you go. Okay, someone got him for me. Good. What's the matter? The etiquette, I don't know, you know, should you uh, shoot on the airplane, you know, when someone else is already after that plane. But then again, it's okay. It goes both ways, so this this one he died again. It's too far away. Uh, he's gone. Okay, come over here. Okay, there we go, buddies over here. There's so many enemy planes. Jesus Christ, where are my teammates? See, sometimes they don't want to play the games. All my teammates, the blueprints on the mini map, they're on the right hand side, in the right hand sector. We you gonna lose this game. There's no one behind me here. I don't know who got 
Oh yeah, by the way. Okay, this. Okay, no, can't. Need to kill this guy. Oh, where the heck did he go? Shit. Ah, oh, darn it. Where did he go? Ah. Oh, All right, that's it. I have one more lives left. I guess not. Now I just have to sit and watch the game. You sure I don't care about the outcome? Some island guy destroying me. But as you can see, you can tell by the bots. Usually, Russian names, they fly the Russian planes, you know. Japanese names <laughs> fly the Japanese airplanes. Uh, I think we'll see. There's more red line than uh, the blue. Hopefully, it won't last that long. But since I'm recording this, as well, see the outcome. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, as I said, in this game, you have to sort of watch your tail, watch your six, but then again, when you have to pray in front of you, you know, you cannot do two things at the same time, so... So sometimes you just wish that uh, you could destroy the pray in front of you before the one behind you got you, then you can turn around. The other thing you learn in this game is that you need to know how to... Uh, Make 180 degrees turn really, really tight turns. So, that's what a fighter's supposed to do. That's why I like the fighters, you know, bombers are fun, you know, you can bomb, however, they can turn. So, once again, you know, someone after you, bombers, you are dead meat. Attack planes actually are bombers too, light bombers, so, you know, it's, yeah, to me, it's so boring. The heavy attack plane sounds fancy, but actually, yeah, they don't maneuver too well either. The Malta row is good. Half, half, half fighters, half bombers. The fighters are more fun. And this Spitfire <laughs> that I got shot down twice or well, three times, I forgot. To me, it's my, uh, for me, it's my favorite plane. Come on, hurry up. The game should end. Sit here all night. Ah, come on, come on. Okay, we won. Okay, surprisingly. I guess I did okay. So now I'm just curious. Uh, how many planes we got? You need points, credit, experience points in order to upgrade and to enhance your plane. You know, you have to pick up spare parts also from the battlefield. You need all those stuff in order uh, to move up or fine tune your plane because you start off with basic plane. So you can uh, improve your gun, I mean your uh, firepower, your uh, boost your engines, fix your, you know, airplane uh, materials, and also, in, you know, improve your pilot skills, you know, and all kinds of stuff. They have eagle eyes or <laughs> super health, this and that. I only got three airplanes, not too good. Yeah, see, I came in ninth on my team, you know, so. Yeah, could be worse, I guess. So, yeah. Yeah, could be worse since I got shot down so many times. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, actually the other team should have won. But, okay, it is what it is. Alright, that is it, folks. My Spitfire. Okay.